and welcome to Hacking the Excel, the show that gives you that extra material you need to really appreciate the Excel 6E webisodes. Uh, welcome back for the first episode of this season. Um, once again, I'm happy to introduce the star of the show, Amelia Anderslotter. Welcome. Thank you, Mab. I'm very happy to be here. So, apparently there has been a summer break. Yes. Which you can tell by me growing a beard, which I usually do during summer and winter. Uh, but that will not be the main topic of, of today's show, uh, but we might return to it later. Uh, but let's start with the summer. You've been away from the parliament for like seven weeks? Um, let's see. I left the parliament in mid-July and I've come back in the last week of August, so say six or seven weeks. Yeah. yeah. How does that feel? Um, I mean, we all, we all know how much you love to being here, to be of here. Of course. Um, so there's, um, when I'm not in Brussels, I sometimes miss Brussels. There's a lot of nice things here. Also the summer in Belgium is not too bad. But I've been a lot in Sweden, and so that is probably worthwhile the effort. Um, and then I've been going to also some other places. I saw a picture of you with war paint in your face. That's because we made a tour in Sweden where we demonstrated facial recognition software and various um, uh, masking techniques to get past it. And so it's actually quite cool because um, we uploaded some pictures from our tour on Facebook afterwards. And it is indeed so that the uh, Facebook facial recognition algorithm um, is not able to identify that there is a face in the general place of the person. So um, also the computer software that we were using to demonstrate in public squares didn't recognize you with the, with the um, makeup that we had applied. And so it was a lot of fun. We allowed also for other people who were visiting to get makeup and then we were also talking about generally surveillance and data mining and how ubiquitous surveillance is actually has actually a lot of potential for being used for discriminatory purposes. And where did you do this? Um, we were in four Swedish cities. Um, so we started in Malmö and then we went to Gothenburg, Stockholm and Umeå. So basically you covered the entire country. Um, oh. Well, the larger cities we covered in some parts of the country. And uh, were you alone or you were working there with uh, some other international pirates, right? We had, um, actually we had Patrick Breyer with us. He's a parliament uh, member from Schleswig-Holstein in Germany. And he's been very involved in privacy issues in Germany and so it was very helpful to have him there. He was able to present also to um, Swedish people the current state of the debates around camera surveillance and data mining and um, mass discrimination or, or actually population control that they've had in Germany. So because they have the constitutional debates about how a government is actually allowed to inflict influence on on the population of Germany in a way which is much more present in their public debate and stronger in their public debate than maybe it is in Sweden. And so that was very interesting to hear his perspectives and also um, I think many people that visited us also were um, happy to see that he was there. Um, the makeup was done by uh, a Czech girl who's called Jana. Um, she's now a member of the board of the Young Pirates Europe um, and she went along with us because she is, um, she's actually a very good makeup artist. So we were tipped off by our intern from the spring, Peter Kopach, that she was a very good makeup artist. And so um, because neither me nor my staffers felt that we were sufficiently confident in how to pick makeup and makeup appliances, we um, decided to go for an expert. And so it was uh, me and Patrick and Jana and uh, the Swedish local staff member Nils who went around in a small tour um, and then we also engaged with local pirates and we had a lot of fun. It was actually a very fun tour. I liked it. Yeah. Well, well, that's... And I got a tan also from being like five hours outdoors. Uh, yeah, day. well, uh, apparently that happens in the summer. Uh, I'm a bit, uh, of course, uh, sad that I was passed over for the makeup part, but... Uh, yeah. But we can fix it later. I heard that Jana was also doing kind of makeup y stuff at the Pride. So clearly, now that she has the technique and the knowledge, she might be able to even give you a more innovative uh, makeup and refine the techniques that were developed during the tour. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And I actually met her myself at, at the Plask event, um, which was a pre event for the founding of the Young Pirates of Europe. And uh, you were there as well. 
Yeah, um, I participated in the last two days of PLASC, or actually like the last formal day of PLASC and for the founding of the Young Pirates Europe. So um, that was very interesting and a lot of fun also. Um, a lot of international uh, or European young um, pirates had gathered in one location to do group activities and learn about their various approaches to policy making in the member states. And I looked at the schedule and it seems like I also talked to a lot of people there and everyone was very satisfied that they had been. So um, that was definitely very, a very successful event. And it, it led to the founding of the Young Pirates of Europe, as, as you mentioned. Uh, which is an umbrella for all the Young Pirates of organizations of Europe, with, with a chairperson that, uh, by coincidence, has been shown on some of our episodes. Well, Julia Reda is now the chairperson of uh, the Young Pirates Europe. She did an internship here in the spring of 2012. Um, that was a delight to have her with us, and I'm very happy that she is now the chairman of, of the Young Pirates Europe. But she also has a very good board. Um, and I think they will be able to get their activities up and running in this coming year um, with no problems. Well, uh, I'm looking forward to see, see more of the activities of the Young Pirates of Europe. I've actually been in contact with them uh, for an event next year, which they might be doing here in Brussels. So we might see them on, on the show. Let's hope. Uh, but uh, talking about seeing people on the show, there will be some other new faces uh, this fall. Yes. So um, every new start of a session, of course, brings changes also in the office environment and we have new interns. Um, and so we hope that uh, in the XL6 webisode series, they will be introduced very quickly. Um, and and uh, their um, uh, Galia, a girl who's been studying in uh, Belgium uh, and comes from Bulgaria, and she will be working with us in the parliament this fall. We also have uh, Jan, a Czech Wikimedia guy, who will be helping us with, we hope, event organizations and so forth. And so I'm, I'm very happy. And also taking care of our external office. Uh, and also taking care of our external office. Um, and then we will have uh, Juni, a Finnish guy who will be responsible for filmmaking. And so actually maybe he will not be seen that much in the webisodes because the idea is that he does the filming and cuts the webisodes together. Um, and so these are the new three cast members or staff members that will be doing work with us this autumn. Yes, and hopefully they will bring their uh, own flavor to the show and, and make the episodes more enjoyable. Um, first episode will of course be the Plask episode, second episode for the season will be about the Pirate Bay 10 year anniversary I think, uh -huh. uh, and, and then we should be up to speed with what's happening in the parliament uh, this fall. Yeah. Um, so um, that will all be shown on the course of the, uh, of the fall se uh, session and uh, I, I hope you will enjoy it. And I think we will have to wrap it up for today. Uh, I know that you're a busy person and you have other things to do right now. Uh, so we will be back in two weeks. Um, I will see you, well, directly after this meeting because we're going to go back to the office together. Yes. But you will see us again in two weeks. So thank you for watching and thank you for coming. Thank you for having me.